Hi guys, did a video a little while back about replacing the taps on the bath. Uh, in fact, the video is more about the problems of access to the pipework because the bath was panelled in and I had to cut through the wood wooden dowels that held the panels in place so I could actually get to the pipes. When I got to the pipes, I then found that these two valves, which shut the water supply off to the taps, leaked. That was the worst one. The water actually leaked out there as soon as I turned these. These, when you turn them, they seal the pipes. Now, they didn't seal them very well anyway. Even when I had them turned, uh, there was still a little bit of water getting through. See, this one was leaking. It's only dribbling, but it was a little bit of water coming through there. And this one, even when it was turned to shut, there was still water coming through. You can see it's coated in, um, well, crystals. Because we have hard water, as it's called, which has all this stuff. Deposits over the years, I mean, we're probably talking 10, 15 years or more. But it did mean that even when this one was closed, there was still an amount of water getting through. The backup to that was as a pair of these pipes, uh, these valves, gate valves as they're called, um, in the airing cupboard going up to the cold water storage tank up in the loft. Two of these, one feeding the cold water down to the bath and the other feeding the hot or at least the cold water for the hot water tank and say two of these one of them I was able to tur turn off the cold water one this one which fed the hot water I couldn't move I could well I could move it <coughs> that much you probably can't even see it's moving that's as far as I could move it so, this is the old one, this is replaced now, and you can see in there it's stuck half open, which was interesting because we'd always thought we had very slow flow on the, cold, on the hot water, and that would have been the problem, that it was half closed, I'm not even sure what that big lump is on the bottom there. There we go. Some people call it furring on the pipes because it looks like fur. It's um, calcium. I think it's calcium. Might be calcium carbonate or something, wouldn't it? Anyway. That one, it didn't matter what I did to it, I put a strong pair of clamps on there to try and turn it and I couldn't get it to move at all, so it's replaced now. What I had to do to do the work was actually drain the tanks down, or the tank, the cold water tank in the loft, let everything out of it. I could have put a rubber bung in it, you can actually, where the pipes come out of the cold water tank, I could have reached inside and shoved a rubber bung effectively in like that to seal it but I didn't, I drained it right down if it's drained down there's no way that it's accidentally going to leak when we're in the middle of working on it I just thought I'd show that, it was interesting that was particularly interesting, the fact that that was jammed half open or half closed whichever way you want to look at it and nothing I could do would move that I didn't want to use excessive force in case I actually snapped it in its position or bent the pipes or anything like that, loosened the seal. I was using my, um, it's on here trying to get it to move and there's nothing I could do to move it. All done now. 
finished. What I haven't done is put the panels back on the bath yet because I'm going to put them back in place with magnetic catches so I can get them off again if I ever need to. Hi guys, trying to make some sense of the piping in our airing cupboard. Right, we have an immersion heater, which we don't use. That's always switched off. But it is heated from the central heating instead. So, central heating pump. I uh, can't remember what you call that bit, but that switches it. Yeah, never mind. Uh, filter. or magna clean as they call it, gets rid of the bits out of your uh, central heating pipe. Uh, what else have we got? That is the cold water feed. Um, the actual first stopcock in the house where the water comes in is in the far corner of the kitchen behind one of the cupboards. There's access to it if you take stuff out of the cupboard. There's a hole in the panel at the back and the stopcock sticks through. And that comes to here. If you turn that off, that stops cold water going up to the tank in the loft. That one is the cold water feed coming down from the cold water tank, which comes down here. This little loop here and goes through that wall and the shower is on the other side and then the pipe carries on down and goes under the bath to feed the bath cold water feed to the bath i don't know if it also carries on downstairs to the toilet that's downstairs below us don't know that one is the cold water feed that goes down there turns a right angle and goes round to the back of this tank which is our hot water storage tank it is an immersion heater it does have a heater in it but that's not turned on you never use that because the hot water is heated via the central heating so if the central heating died for some reason we could turn that on and we would still have hot water in an emergency. Uh, what else? Did I already cover these? I can't remember. Central heating pump. Uh, I can't remember what that thing's called, but it switches the hot water from there or direct from the um, yeah, does that go that way, that way, or th that way, that way. I can't remember which way around that works without sitting and thinking about it. But certainly the hot water would flow through there and back out again. So that hot water heats the tank. At the same time, the hot water is pumped around the house. Uh, when well, it comes down there and through. Which way does that one come in? Mm -hmm. Can't quite tell. Round there, round there, through that thing that's supposed to filter out the particles from the central heating. So that's not um, drinking water. Well, not the hot water is drinking water anyway. But that's the central heating, not the hot water. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.